Alright, will they let me go through that door automatically? Oh, okay. I'm about to say, like, no, they didn't go make me have to press the- ah! Hello, everybody. My name is Juliet Stucky, and welcome to an exciting game of The Evil Within. Alright. Now, this is the game that won the 1,000 subscriber poll. For those of you guys who don't know, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I did a poll to see what, uh, what game you guys wanted to see. Uh, the game that won was actually a scary game. Uh, I didn't specify which, though. I just said your choice. And this is the game that won that choice. So here we go. We're about to dive into the evil within. All right, here we go. Alright, uh, so yeah, it's doing its thing. Yeah, I had to start the game up just a little bit to make sure that I had, like, all the options and whatnot. Like, I had to turn on subtitles. Um, I had to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't really, like, see anything, though. Uh, but yeah, I turned on subtitles. Uh, I had to do stuff with the, uh, the, the brightness. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, and we are hitting survival mode. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll read it. So it says casual for the weak and fearful. <laughs> Who they think I am? Auto aiming enabled by default and slightly more ammo than normal. Survival. Standard difficulty. Challenge and overcome your fears. That is what we are going to do. And on the side, it says once the difficulty level has been selected, it cannot be raised during gameplay, but it can be lowered. Lowering the difficulty during gameplay will restart the chapter. The difficulty setting can be changed in-game via the options menu. We ain't gonna be changing nothing. It's survival all the way! All right, let's do this. Oh, wait, confidential. Sneak control settings can be changed in the options menu. Loading, chapter one, an emergency call. All right, uh, oh yeah, and also, before I forget this, I've actually seen a full playthrough of this game like a while ago, so I think it'll be really cool that I get to play it. And because I don't quite remember every little thing, it'll be like, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll be getting like scared and whatnot, at least I'm, I'm hoping so. All right, all right, but it's sorry, sorry. All units, all units, 11. Alright. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy 184. Okay, alright. What do we got going on here? Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Mm. Sucks. That sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Oh, man. Half a dozen units already on Did scene. Did we really have to roll up in there? Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. <laughs> That's not what happened. Dude, come on. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? Do we really have to roll up in here right Joseph, after a case? You think there's a connection? It's a possibility. Joseph. I believe the records were Ooh, look at these black gloves! Like, 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 this man's got style! Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's Detective the situation? Detective Castellanos. 184, be advised. Some problem with Chicago. Uh-uh. Yo, my controller's rumbling. God. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, what mess are we about to roll up in on, man? Yo, look at his gloves! Junior Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Junior Detective Kidman. Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. She looked funny. <laughs> I don't trust her. She gave me the she gave me the itches. Ooh. Oh man, alright, my man Dr. Detective Cafeono is actually looking pretty cool in that rain. Alright. So where are we? Beacon Mental Hospital? Why is it always a mental hospital where all the messed up stuff happens? What do you make of it? Connolly. Contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Connolly. Joseph, Kidman. You're with me. Joseph We're and have Kidman. A look around. Right. I'm gonna have to remember everybody's name. So we got Detective Castellanos, Joseph, and Kidman. Chapter one. An emergency call. Oh wait, oh I can move. Ooh, this is a little choppy. Alright. Oh, this is my team. We the squad, son! We gotta we got do the epic slow walk. Oh wait, no! You guys are breaking out the squad! You're going in two different directions! Alright, fine. We'll go with my homie Joseph. Joseph, come back! What are you looking at? Anything cool in there? There are no weapons left in their cars. Alright, well, yeah. They must have rolled in there and had to shoot some motherfuckers. Alright, what, what else we got? Eh. Kidman! Kidman, come back! Oh, uh, look how awesome my hair looks in this rain. I look so epic. 
And, and I even got the trench coat, man. I'm like the freaking... I'm, I'm the poster cool guy. All right. Uh, I'm, I probably have like a comb on me. Got to keep this stuff slick. Oh, okay, okay. The squad's back together now. We got we got to do the epic... Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, I, I, I got I to gotta get in the middle. You guys are messing it up. <laughs> All right, whatever. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, let's head inside. All right, what are we about to walk in? Ooh, too bright? It smells like blood. Oh, wow. All right, stay sharp. Oh, boy. We're going to check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. No! We don't know what's happening here. <laughs> you are a backup. You stay out here, and you sit! Because <laughs> that's... I'm the boss. Oh. Oh. Someone had a bad day at the office. Ah, Did you hear something? Yes. Dude. Oh, man. The janitor is going to have a hard Someone time. Alive in here. Oh, where? All right, where? Is he right there? All right, give me a second. Let me, uh... What the fuck? Holy... Dude, I was about to say, yo, there's someone alive right here. Oh, man, what else we got? This guy died in his wheelchair. That's that's unfortunate. Oh, man. What else we got? Oh, oh. Yeah, that person died face down. Eh, eh, I think that... Oh, no. Oh, I'm about to be like, no, I didn't get caught a wedge. Uh, I think that's enough playing with the dead bodies. Oh, wait, ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Man, oh well. I'm not even sure if that was the right button to press on then. All right, Joseph, I'm coming. What you got for me? You said somebody's alive back here. Wait, did I see us? I thought I saw a sniper laser for a quick second. Are you injured? What happened here? Hello, sir. Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik. Ruvik. That was the name of the guy. I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. All right, what we got? Ruvik. I always thought that name was cool as hell. Ruvik. All right, why am I slowly walking towards the security cameras? Why are you looking away from it? Uh, uh, uh. Uh oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell? Ooh, he don't like me. What the? Oh. So he knows fucking instant transmission. <laughs> All right, and I'm dead. He stabbed me in the eye or the face. Oh, and he strung me up like a pig. Ooh. I'm going to need to go to the hospital. Oh, wait, I'm in the hospital. I need to go to another hospital. Ow, I'm like, I keep moving my finger because I feel that. It's so weird. Oh, man. <gasps> oh. He's so ugly. Oh, no. And there's a guy there. Rotate the camera. What's he doing? Oh, my God. Golly, 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 gumdrops. Is he killing that guy next to me? I can't see. I want to look. Whatever. But I see that pretty, 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 pretty thing. Can I? Golly. What did he just rip off? Oh, my gosh. He just ripped off that guy's upper half. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, ew, I'm hearing blood. Oh, come on. Please don't see me, Mr. Freako Man. Mr. Butcher O Man. Yes. Oh, man. Ow. He heard that. He's going to come and kill me now. Oh, man. 
How is my face still intact after what Ruvik did to me? Oh, man. Dude, come on. Can I, like, see if there's any cool stuff around? Oh, man. I don't want to, like, make too much noise, so... Can I crouch? Oh, man. What the... I was about to say, he's not going to come and kill me, is he? Ew. Oh, man. Like, I want to investigate the place. Before I go. There's gotta be some cool little goodies here. Can okay, I can crouch. Oh man, that guy's just chilling. So what is he like eating people? It's so dark. Oh, okay, now they tell me. I wanna know if there's some goodies I can play with. Oh, man. All right. Obviously, I got to go in there. I think that's a key. This man has an interesting taste in music. All right. Yeah, I think it's the key to this door. Locked. Shut Come! Shut up! Don't speak, dude. He's not going to see me in front of the window, is he? Oh, man. Hell, man. This dude's butchering straight-up humans. And in horrible conditions. He can at least wear a hairnet. <laughs> I know you don't have hair, but still. It's the principle. Ooh. Yoink! Ordinary keys. A key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Not really sure why I would need to know that information. All right, now let us slink out of here. Undetected. That scared the mess out of me when that poopy stuff. All right. <laughs> no one's the wiser. Uh oh, that's a loud door. That's a very loud door, actually. Can I run? I'm leisurely strolling. Oh crap! Don't see me, Mr. Freako. Oh man. Oh, his chainsaws. Why does a man need so many chainsaws? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, man. This man got up the stairs fast. Run! Run! Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Will they let me go through that door automatically? Oh, okay. I'm about to say, like, no, they ain't gonna make me have to press the... Ah! Dude, I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. Dude, you really couldn't just kill me right then and there. You had, you had to be special. Oh no. Yeah, you had to. Do uh oh. Oh. Get me in there. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Oh no. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, making me a little sick. Uh, it's a tub of blood. Gross. I'm gonna have an infection after this. What is it with these characters getting into these obvious health hazards and never coming down with the flu? Like, man. 
This place is disgusting. How the heck am I gonna- And I know I'm gonna get infected because I have an open leg wound and I jumped into a- In a vat of blood. Dude, it's so dark. I can't see Jack Jickety. Alright. Oh, dude. This is, uh... Oh, no. Oh. No. I'm gonna sneak back in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I bet you this in the back here. I think that was one thing that I do remember from the game. I think it had, like, secrets. Like, I think it had, like, a lot of secrets you could pick up. But it doesn't really look like there's any secret back here. So before we continue, I actually think this is a good time to end the episode with our hero, Castellanos, wounded. I'm trying to get a good view of his face, but it's like the, uh, the fan. Ah. Damn it! Ah. <laughs> oh, all right, that'll have to do for now. All right. So next time. Will we be able to traverse these ghastly hallways? Will we encounter Mr. Meat Butcher Man? And will he finish the job? Find out on the next episode of The Evil Within. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya. Hello. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment below. And share the video with your friends and family too. And if you're new here or if you just haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. I play games, I make jokes, and I have a whole lot of fun. You can follow me on the links below and you can check out some of the other videos that I have here for you as well. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya! I don't even know how to kill him! Like, it's like the smallest mistake! This is killing me. This is killing me. Die, you... Fucking, you freaky! Pumpernickel, nickel, stacking! Ah! Alright, Napa. Oh, oh! Oh!